Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Dires, uh, back with another tutorial on NLTK and today I'll be talking about replacing words which match uh, regular expressions. So this uh, tutorial is going to be a bit lengthy because I'll be explaining a lot of things. So get started. So, all right, so let's go, let's move ahead. So what we are going to do is, let us say I have something called uh, a sentence like, uh, let's say he won't, all right. So uh, what I want to do is I want to check a paragraph. Uh, let's say this is the text and this text can be a paragraph and I want to check that out and I want to replace every instance of won't to will not. So let's say I want it to replace uh, to something like he will not. All right. So let's see how that can be possible and how we can do that using regular expressions. And I'll be creating a class as well. I'll be creating a module so that you can directly import it so let's get started and also uh, there's a new look so so far i've been uh, working on just uh, command prompt to just show you guys simply uh, how, how to execute python commands but uh, i've got a few responses and a uh, few suggestions that you know it's, it would be better if i do it on an uh, ide or any kind of text editor so i chose uh, sublime text and i'm continuing my tutorials on this so anyways, uh, uh, now that's done. So let me get started. So what I wanted to, uh, what I want to start out uh, with is, uh, telling you that you need to import something called RE. RE is a Python module, which is for regular expressions. So only after you, uh, you know, import this, you'll be able to work with regular expressions and that is given in almost every i mean it, it's a very basic package which is uh necessity necessity for any kind of python distribution so you can go ahead and uh, just type import re so you don't have to worry if you you know you have to download it separately or something like that so anyways uh going forward what i would say is uh let's work out a few uh a short example first uh, which i've already written over here but i'll be typing it out so that you can also practice along with me so what i do is i say regex is uh something like a compiler regex is equal to re dot compiler and here what i'll be doing is i'll be supplying a regular expression so uh, I hope that you are aware of regular expressions already. So how to use them and all that. It's a uh, it's a big uh, thing. So you will have to brush up your knowledge on that. If at all you don't know it, uh, I would suggest that you go ahead and watch a few videos or read up some stuff and then come back if you don't know regular expressions. So let's say uh, uh, for uh, simplicity's sake, let's take the above example itself or uh, you know you can uh uh you i mean i'll, I'll show you just with uh, uh don't if not won't so the first r uh, tells the uh, program that whatever we are supplying is a uh, raw expression so r is uh compulsory so after that open up uh, your quotes you can also use quotes like this but this will also do so what you say is r don't but the problem is uh I mean it's not a problem uh, what you need to uh, be aware of is that this hyphen this uh, apostrophe in between this one uh, should not uh, you know confuse our code so what we need to do is we need to give up I uh, mean we need to just end it so we need to what do you call uh, we uh, we need to give a backs uh, backslash so that uh, you know it gets escape so it's like an escape character so the escape character for uh, the apostrophe is nothing but this so you have to uh, for almost i mean if you uh, i'm pretty sure you must have come across things like uh, this is for tab and then this is for a uh, uh, new line and so on so similarly you just need to give a backslash and after that uh, after that is done so what you can say is you can just give a, any kind of statement so let's say uh, our first statement you can name this anything this is just my variable for first statement so what i would say is uh he uh uh don't you dare or uh i don't go to you know school all right so i don't go to i don't go to school so let's say i want 
it to be replaced the don't the word don't should be replaced by do not so let's see how i can get that so what i'll do is i'll just say sst which is second statement it's just a contraction uh it's just a variable of mine so you can say a regex dot sub now regex is, is nothing but this one which we have already uh updated so regex dot sub uh what i'll say is if at all i'll uh you know if at all i find the uh, don't what i need to do is i need to replace it with do not all right so after this what i'll do is the second argument which uh, the sub uh, method takes is uh, the text so it will be fst and after this uh, i'll just say print uh, le let's print out uh, both of them so let's print out uh, you know first line which is uh, uh fst so i'll just say all right i can do it over here itself uh all right so after this i'll just say print and then the second line or uh, the i mean the edited line if not the first line so uh raw draw line uh, all right uh the original line will be uh, the second statement so let's see what happens all right i got an error oh uh, okay uh, so in, it's not compiler it's compile i'm sorry about that all right so as you can see over here we have our results so what it says is that uh, you have i don't go to school which is the original statement and then uh, we have uh, you know the editor line which is i do not go to school so what it is doing is it is searching for any instance of don't and then it is replacing it with do not so that is happening because of these two commands which are uh, given in uh, regular expressions module re so we can use these and uh, you know because of these we can you know just directly go ahead and uh, we can uh, you know work with them and i think we can also chain these commands if at all it's possible but let it be there uh, so I'll, I'll show that some other time so anyways uh, so as you've seen over here uh, this is how we will be dealing with uh, you know changing regular expressions if something matches so that is how we do that and going further ahead what we can do is we can give a give an array give an array of uh, a top uh, tuples of you know uh, what what if you find don't uh, I mean the tuples will just tell me what should I uh, replace re replace uh, the word with so if it is don't I should uh, replace it with do not and stuff like that so before that uh, before I show that I'll, I'll just show you another example so let's say uh, let's say I, I find uh, an expression like this all right uh, what i mean to say is i'll just type it out so let's say oops uh one second uh so let's say i have something like this he would all right so i hope you can see that he would so what i want to do is i want to replace this so i want to replace this with uh, he would all right so how do i do that so what i will do is i'll just say I'll, I'll just uh, put this expression again and then what I'll say uh, what I'll say is I need to change if at all I find anything with he would so I'll just uh, give a space followed by would so let's see how that fares so let's say he would go to school on Sundays all right so so let's check uh, what it says all right so as you can see over here we have he would go to schools on uh, he would go to school on sundays and over here we have the whole expansion of wood all right so as you can see over here this is how it works now like this we can have many contractions you know so like i mean we can have a lot of contractions and expansions in the english uh, uh language so what we can do is we can uh, we can just uh, pile up all these into an array we can put them inside and just uh, say you know if at all you find any of these just replace with whatever has been given so how that works is i'll show you right away so let me comment this out or else i'll just delete it because i already have it all right so 
how you do that is uh, i mean i created this uh, simple uh, you know what you call the uh, uh, very simple function so what it does is it will just replace uh, the text with the patterns so the patterns will be already given so the given patterns will be like this so let's say it's a it's a serare so all right so i guess that is more visible now all right so anyways this is an array so over here we have uh, won't will be uh, separated by he will not and uh, is is and then would would and you can keep adding a lot of things so let's say i want to add uh, anything like uh, let's say don't so it will be a uh, backslash and then it will be uh, replaced by do not so after this is done so yeah so there's like this i can keep adding my patterns a lot of patterns i can find a lot of things on uh, in, on the english language you can go ahead and uh, you know whatever you want to replace you can create you can just append them into the into this array so let's see uh, what happens all right so when i uh, when i run this i am getting so the initial initial uh, statement fst was i won't go there he's a madman he won't end that and he would have to go now so because of my function what what is happening is i i'm getting i will not go there he is a madman he will not end that and he would have to go now so this is how it uh, immediately changes so this is this is a very simple function what it does is it uh, i mean the way uh, i have structured it is very simple so uh, so let's say uh, replace function ha uh, takes uh, two uh, what do you call it, it takes two uh, arguments so the, t the first one is text and the second one is patterns and the patterns is uh, over here I have supplied it as given patterns and FST is the you know is the general uh, statement which uh, which you can just keep on changing so uh, let's say I add don't go or something like that and just let me run so okay so it is not running because uh, the, uh, D is capital so let's see how it fares now all right so as you can see over here since D was capital this was not acting so I I had to change it so this can be fixed again using our regular expressions uh, so anyways uh, I'll show that later so what you can do is uh, uh, so yeah as I was saying about the function so uh, it will take uh, the tuple which is uh, the raw expression and the replaced expression so the raw expression is the first one and the replaced expression is the second one and uh, in patterns uh, which is nothing but given patterns in this scenario and what it does is it will construct a regex which is uh, re.compile raw which we have done for the individual element over here and then it will uh, create a text file uh, I'm, I'm sorry it'll it'll, it'll uh, transform the already given text which is uh, FST which we are already supplying and then for every you know every tuple this keep this loop keeps on uh, you know going on so it will keep repeating and because of that we have uh, you know uh, we have the final output as this so it will go through all of these uh, uh, tuples it will it will go to all of these pairs uh, and you know it will just uh, replace whatever it will find you know suitable so this is a very quick way uh, to you know just use it so the final step is just using the function so you just give the fst and given patterns so anyways how do you use this as a module so let's say i want to you know i don't want to write all this uh, inside and you know i just want to use it so what i do is i i come up with a module uh, called uh, you can call it anything so for example i am uh, calling it example replacer.py and where i store this is i have to store it uh, in uh, as you can see over the over here it will be stored in lib slash side packages slash uh, okay uh, it will be saved inside side packages so the uh, address can be found in the uh, python installation so whatever wherever you have installed python just uh, dump the file this file over there so it's simple uh, so how you construct that is uh, something similar to what i have shown here 
So what you do is uh, you just say import re, which is the usual, and then you give the given patterns. So let me just uh, you know replace this with this. All right. So since we have another entry, so after that, uh, what I say is I initiate a class, a class called regex replacer, which will take an object. And then what this will do is, you know, uh, uh, you just need to define the init function as usual, which you do for all functions, all classes, I'm sorry, all class methods. Uh, the first argument is always uh, self for any kind of method. So you you just say self dot patterns as given patterns, which is already defined over here. You can also take these directly and just uh, drop it over here. It's, it's your wish. So this is how I just uh, constructed. So after this, uh, what you say is define replace. Uh, the method is replaced. Uh, sorry, uh, is defined as this. So the first argument is self, and the second one is text. So the self is uh, the usual. You you can name that anything. You can call it this, but you'll have to call it this here and here and here as well. So anyways, uh, so self is generally used by a lot of people. So after that, uh, you give a text. I mean, uh, the text as the second uh, argument. So uh, text will get uh, keep on getting uh, appended this uh, this function is similar to this uh, the, the same thing over here uh, except for the self over here which uh, we are saving over here I mean uh, we are saving self dot patterns as given patterns I mean for this instance uh, of a class let, let us say you instantiate a, a instantiate an object I mean you just create an object via this class then uh, self means that for that object you know the patterns will be this and so on so it's it's pretty simple so after you have uh, constructed this simple file what you can do is you can uh, you can use it anyway so over here as you can see i called it from example replacer import regex replacer so regex replacer is the name of the uh, class so i i import it and then over here as usual as you've seen in the previous uh, python tutorials i used to contract uh, a lot of uh, commands i mean a lot of uh, methods you know for uh, simplicity so uh, similarly what you can do is as usual you can just say replacer is equal to regex replacer and then replacer dot replace because the method's name is replace over here uh, you can just say he's gone and it will get uh, you know uh, as you can see over here it is working so it says he is gone so you can have, I mean, this is this is just three lines of code which uh, which can be reused again and again. So you can just say, uh, uh, I don't like ice cream, and then uh, he won't uh, call her, and stuff like that. And what will happen is, as you can see over here, it is getting immediately replaced. So he is gone. I do not like ice cream. So I don't has become I do not like and he won't has become he will not call her so this is like uh, you know as you can see over here this is like pretty quick and uh, you know uh, even though the tutorial is quite long i'm sorry about that but you know this uh, as you can see over here after you have constructed you can use it as you like and you know you get uh, whatever you know you would wish for so anyways instead of print over here what you can do is you can just say return and then what happens is uh, uh, you can just save it so let's say you save it as uh, you know result result is equal to this and then I'll print the result alright so it's the same thing so you instead of uh, you know directly writing over here print what you can do is you can just say return text so that that is returned and that you can use it as you wish all right guys so that's it for this video i know it, it was quite long but this is quite important so that you know you understand how regular expressions are uh, played over here how they play a major role and how they how they can be used you know to you know just uh, uh you know create cool stuff like this which will just convert your uh, contractions and it will expand it so that uh, the system can understand it better and the reason why we do that is uh, so that you know the system understands it better all right guys thanks a lot for watching this is rocky days i'll be back with another video and see you guys bye bye